Club was a Nickelodeon cartoon that premiered all the way back in 2004. However, Netflix has recently reinvented the series and made it a live-action show that is aimed at young adults, an interesting change from the original series. Though, how similar are the two shows, you're about to find out. But before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Winx Club was released in 2004 by Nickelodeon. The show didn't have much success in America, but it was extremely popular with young Italian audiences. The show was created by Egenio Straffi and takes place in a magical world that is filled with fairies, witches, and all sorts of other mythical beings. The show tells the story of Bloom, who enrolls in college to learn how to use her skills as a fairy. Unlike many cartoon shows, Winx doesn't have one-off episodes but tells a continuous storyline that keeps viewers begging for more, with nearly every episode having some sort of cliffhanger to keep fans guessing. The show was so popular that it would remain on the air until 2019, though there was a short hiatus between the 7th and 8th seasons. Either way, the series proved to be extremely popular in European countries, which probably explains why Fate, the Winx Saga, has so many European characters, but only a few American characters. The Netflix reboot premiered in January of 2021 and had a lot of success in America. The show tells a similar storyline, but the creator, Egenio Straffi, doesn't play much of a role in the filming of the show. The show follows the stories of many of the original characters from the cartoon with a roster that includes Bloom, Stella, Aisha, Musa, and several others. While Netflix has done an amazing job recreating the series, we can't help but wonder, do the new stars of the show really look like the original characters? Let's take a look and find out. Bloom Everyone knows that Bloom is the fairy of the Dragon Flame. She was given her powers from the Great Dragon that helped to create the Magic Dimension, one of the most important parts of the series. She is known for being one of the strongest fairies in the universe and is considered the leader of the Winx. What makes her a bit different from the others is that she was raised as an earthly girl that had no idea she was actually born on the planet Domino. As she comes of age, she learns that her home planet was destroyed by a team of witches that had started a battle against herself, her family, and everyone else on the planet. In the original series, Bloom has fiery red hair and amazing good looks. What's pretty interesting about her is that despite her red hair, she would wear blue clothing, including a blue top, blue skirt, and blue boots. Her wings are blue as well. When we look at Bloom in the new series, Fate the Wing Saga, her looks haven't changed too much, but her outfit is totally different. She still has bright red hair, but the real-life character also has tons of freckles to match. The new Bloom doesn't dress similarly to the original character, and she is usually seen wearing clothes that tone down her natural hair colors, such as burgundy, maroon, and other darker colors. This may also be because the new show is a much darker series, but we can't help but wonder why the writer would have made such a dramatic change in her appearance. Either way, the new Bloom is just as beautiful as the original. She seems to be a perfect fit for the series, and we couldn't imagine her any other way. Because you're a fixer and I don't need to be fixed. Oh, I am a fixer. And what'd you expect? Stella Stella is one of the more captivating and popular members of the Winx. She is always very outgoing, vibrant, and the center of attention. She's known for being the Fairy of the Shining Sun, and that makes perfect sense considering how bright her wardrobe usually is and how bright her blonde hair can be. To take this even further, her superpowers seeing her manipulating light and using energy from the sun in some pretty crazy ways. She's an amazing artist that always seems to be drawing something, usually fashion accessories. In the original series, Stella is always busy creating her own outfits and trying out different styles and fashions honing her skills as a would-be fashion designer. She's also best friends with Bloom and the two seem to be inseparable. She is the oldest member of the Winx Club since she was held back a year, but that doesn't hold her down. If we look back at the original series, Stella's character is so bright that you almost need sunglasses to look at her. She has super bright blonde hair and brown eyes to go with it. Her primary color is orange, with her wearing an orange top, orange skirt, and orange boots. She'll usually be seen wearing all sorts of different clothing, but her favorite color definitely seems to be orange. When we look at Stella in the new series, much like Bloom, she has toned down her wardrobe quite a bit. 
She wears a lot of neutral colors like green, navy, or gray. Overall, she looks just like the original character and it seems like the casting department did a great job this time. Express them verbally, I'm not about poltergeisting. Just don't know what else we can do. We can put this all behind us and... Aisha Aisha wasn't a part of the original series until the second season. She is known for being the fairy of waves and joins the club after the rest of the Winx crew helped to save her from the clutches of the evil Lord Darkar. She was born on the planet Andros, which was a planet filled with oceans. She introduces a bit of variety into the cast with her dark skin and dark hair being a dramatic contrast from the other characters. Her superpowers allow her to control a pink fluid known as Morphix. She is known for being the rebel of the club and is very athletic and has a serious affinity for sports and dancing. If we look back to the original character art for Aisha, we can see that she was a big fan of the color green. Much like the other characters, she would wear a matching top, skirt, and shoes that would show off her favorite color, though her wings were a transparent purple color. Her hair had several different tones, with some scenes almost making her hair look purple as well. She wore all sorts of different outfits in the original series and seems to be one of the most versatile characters in terms of her wardrobe. When looking at Aisha in the new series, it's pretty clear that the showrunners have taken a more aggressive approach with Aisha's character. In almost every screenshot from the show, Aisha has a very stern expression that proves she isn't willing to take flack from anyone. As is expected, her color scheme and clothing choices don't match the original Wings series at all, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. She can be seen wearing a bright blue dress, a jean jacket, or a red jumper, among other things. Tara We finally make our way to Tara. Tara is one of the more shy members of the group and tries to keep to herself as much as possible. She comes from the planet Lymphia and has brown hair with blonde bangs. Most of her power comes from the energy of plants, which she can control and manipulate whenever she wants. She is usually considered the peacemaker of the group and does her best to avoid conflict at all costs. Her main goal is to help protect the environment and her friends. She's also a master of potion making, helping to create all sorts of herbal remedies for her friends. The original character art for Tara has tan skin, brown hair, and blonde bangs. She's usually seen wearing a pink dress that is covered in hearts and all sorts of other patterns. Her clothing changed a lot over the years, but she's usually seen wearing bright colors like pink or green. When we look at the new series, she hasn't changed too much, but her hair color is much more neutral this time around. It's difficult to say if her hair is sandy blonde or light brown, and it seems to change with the lighting. As you can expect, her clothing choices changed a lot too, and she's usually seen in a green jacket with a red shirt. I'm sure this will continue to change as the series goes on, but Tara is definitely one of the most conservative characters from the show. She doesn't even seem to be wearing as much makeup as the other cast. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.